Hello Capricorn, welcome on my channel Triple Juru Tao and today I'm doing your end of June 2019 general love reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love. If you're a Capricorn or if you're a cross watcher of Capricorn, just take what resonates with you. I will just pick up the energies between two people and situation that what's happening. If it's not for you, then this is not for you, right? You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Triple two tarot. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details are also given on my channel. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Capricorn. Let's see your overall energy and love. What's going on with your lover? Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel the feminine energy here is waiting for the masculine to open up. But masculine is, uh, I don't know very soon but i feel that they will open up very soon right i also feel if there was no communication between you and this person it's happening very soon but you have to keep praying and keep manifesting right because clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you no you have to believe on it you have to trust that this person will open up if she's female or if he if you're waiting for he or she whatever it is they will open up because forgiving and learning right Someone here is going through this process, right? They are uh, going through some healing. They are going through some family issues. They are going through some past issues that they are releasing someone and they are waiting for something new. They are learning. They are learning with you in this process or in this situation. But you have to give them time and space because they will open up. Because I'm seeing very soon here is happening, right? Two people are coming together or they are talking, definitely. If you're waiting for someone to open up their feelings and emotions, right? They are, you're waiting for someone to um, heart to heart conversation, it's happening. It's happening, don't worry. Let's see now how you're feeling toward this person, Capricorn. Oh yeah, here you are, the fool. Could be you're dealing with Aries, right? Um, the person you are dealing with, or you are dealing with, I feel like you're really um, want a new beginning with this person could be long distance relationship and you are very loyal with this person right you're very optimistic and you're really positive about it that you want to be with this person you are determined that you want this person yeah here you are king of cups definitely a difference between you and this person right uh, someone is younger and the other person is very mature wise um, very generous kind and very very serious could be Pisces you're dealing with could be Scorpio Pisces right and cancer but I feel very strongly Pisces and here the Aries card here. So yeah, you are in love with this person and you're ready for the new beginning and change with this person. Right? Definitely you're waiting for this person to open up to you. You want to know that how this person feels for you. Because you are in love with this person and you are ready for change. You are ready for um, to take risk with this person. You are ready to embrace them. You are ready to uh, be with them. Because you are trusting them. Because you love them. And you are waiting for this person now to open up. Here you are, <laughs> the Taurus, the Hierophant. Could be you're dealing with, uh, Hierof sorry, Hierophant, I would say. Taurus, right? Yeah. You want commitment with this person. You're really serious about this person. You are spiritually also connecting with this person. This relationship really uh, taught you um, religious thing. You got mature with this person. You now understanding. You are giving them space. But you're waiting for this person to offer you something solid and stable because you are looking for now stable things. You want to settle down with this person because you are in love with this person and you want to get married. It could be you are dealing with a married person because children are involved here. But for others of you, if, 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 if it's not a married person, then definitely you are in love with this person and you are trusting them. You want to trust them. You want to, you're waiting for this person to open up to you, right? And with the head of friend, definitely, you want serious relationship. Let's see the other person you are dealing with, Eight of Pentacles. So I feel that, yeah, they will, they will open up. They will, um, Taurus will be in Capricorn. I feel like could be their focus is right now, the work. Because they are conflicted about, whenever they think about you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they, they are conflicted about something, right? They're very conflicted about love. They don't know what to do because they're very hard worker and their focus is right now could be work and here you are waiting for this person to open up to come towards you but i feel like they're very conflicted they're very very conflicted right now uh, there was a some type of 
definitely argument happened between you and this person with the five of swords they are confused they they don't know what to do because they are i feel like they are really going through some type of phase in their life that they are looking for something solid yeah six of swords but i feel that they will come come over this um energy with the five to the six of swords definitely i feel they are trying to get over from this energy I told you they are leaving the if it could be possible there is a money manipulation going on someone is manipulating them or there is a lot of people involved right and they're leaving something behind it's a sword they're ready for the peace they're ready for the change could be they're leaving something behind and they're coming towards you six of swords long distance relationship or this person is right now on the distance from you but they're coming because i told you someone is um, you know forgiving the past they're forgiving themselves they're learning they're learning to let go of the old things and old patterns you have to give them time their focus is right now work when they think about love they they are conflicted could be because of their past experiences they don't have a good experience in the past right in relationship but this person whoever this here is they are in love and they're waiting for the other person to love me and express their love and emotions and they're ready for also a commitment let's see what's coming and what to expect here you are queen of pentacles right so definitely someone is coming towards you they are seeing you as their partner taurus virgo and capricorn and i also feel like if there is a some type of uh, money or stability uh, money st instability going on or some type of uh, financial instability going on you will get it right um because it's a mother or some type of told you someone is um dealing with a married person i also feel like with the queen of pentacles what's happening and what to expect between you and this person here is that um yeah your wish will be completed nine of cups in the pisces cancer scorpio card definitely your wish will be completed with this person look at this your wish is coming true this person will open up to you they will offer you something solid with the queen of pentacles they are seeing you as their life partner or it could be they want to commit to you with the queen of pentacles because they know that you have potential to be their partner they know that and with the nine of cups you are wish fulfillment for this person so right now could be this person is not telling you but they will because you have to expect this this is happening that is not you don't know about it that what to expect in this connection right so i feel like they will open up uh, they will express their feelings and they are seeing you as their life partner they are also uh, seeing you as their wish fulfillment and it, it i feel that your wish will be completed and fulfilled they will offer you something solid right they will offer you because queen of uh, king of cups here you are in love with this person and you are ready to take risk and you are ready for um, you know because it's also happening here two people are coming together or two people are deciding to be in a committed relationship you can see that and you can also see the direction of the cards who the, the person who is in love they offer the love the other person is now replying and are saying yes and two people are coming together look at this this is beautiful yeah i feel that two people are coming together they are getting um commitment they are also could be getting married right it's like two people are deciding to be together taking action towards each other very very stable connection is happening so don't worry if they're not opening up to you or they're not taking action they will you have to give them time and space they are coming they are coming through that fight they are coming through that conflict whatever the thing was happened between you and this person is over i feel that good time and good luck is happening right and your wish will be completed i really hope it resonated with you guys like share and subscribe my channel god bless you all